and I'm definitely gonna contour my nose. <laughs> What it do, what it do, back again coming through, who that is, that ain't nobody but swimming so about to do, zidu. Listen, first of all, I gotta say, my last video was a hot mess, honey. I don't know what happened that day, but um, yeah, I did not do <laughs> my job so well. The editing was a mess. The video was on, parts were repeating itself. Child, we are not gonna do that today. Okay, no we won't. <laughs> Drink your water, child. But it happens, it happens to the best of us. That's what happens. When you do stuff by yourself, ain't nobody perfect. Hmm. Make the video a little spicy, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, how y'all doing? Y'all good, okay? Um, I see a lot of y'all taking my advice from my other video, how to stay motivated during quarantine, and I'm so grateful for that, you see what I'm saying? I'm still doing the same things. I'm practicing what I said to you so y'all know how this thing go. Anyway, we ain't got no hair. We sitting here bald as a newborn child. We need to go ahead and do the do. So today's hair is from World New Hair, and they sent me oh, a little ginger wig, you see what I'm saying? Um, we're gonna try and do the do, but um, I tell you, every time I get these, I'm like, like you know, like when I'm selecting the hair, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try this color, I'm gonna try this color. It's always this color that I'm trying. And I don't know, like when I'm done, it's like, dark hair suits me better, you see what I'm saying? But um. We're gonna have fun today, okay? The wig feels bomb. I went ahead and I put it in my bendy rollers. Like I said, we are back to the bendy rollers, baby, because <laughs> soon we can't be sitting here with no curling iron. Listen, they sent me all kind of goodies. They sent me this little um, head grip thing, but I'm not gonna be using this today. Oh, I need to open it. I'm not gonna be using this today. That's what it looks like, just go ahead. Y'all know these type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, doing the do, yes, they sent me a whole bunch of little stuff. They sent me a little headband, a little how, a how, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they was doing the do, yes, they were. All sorts of little goodies. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. So, we're gonna run the music, and listen, I went to Don Quixote. Dun, 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 donkey, donkey, Quixote. And I found this, and this reminded me of the Dyson thingamajiggy, but way less, you see what I'm saying? And it is super powerful, like this little machine. Oh, like, it's by Kozumi, so I'll put the name. The brand is by Kozumi, so if you guys can find it. I was looking for it on Japanese Amazon so I could link it for you guys, but I can't find it, so I don't know if it's an exclusive to Don Quixote. But listen, girl, it has cool set, which is medium, and then you have turbo, which is like the high heat. Listen to this thing. That is loud, that is powerful. Like I can actually feel a kickback on this thing. Like that's just insane. Anyways, I'm super happy. Like it's just so cute, you know, like <laughs> I had to get it, I had to get it. It was super affordable, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, let's do the do. We is rambling boo. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take the curls out and let go. Okay, make sure you check out World New Hair. All the information for them will be down in the description box. And for today's makeup, we are going to be trying out Japanese products. <laughs> All right, girl, stick around. Okay, come on now, let go. Waking up dizzy in the morning. We fly a lot. Don't even know about what. I just want you to leave.
quiet since you left, so don't bother. This is how I feel now. I never had it so y'all so that is it for now you don't know how this thing go okay so make sure you check out world new hair all the information for this unit will be down on the in the description box so <laughs> girl let's get into this japanese makeup okay so y'all know what to do let's zoom in so we can get with him <laughs> So, went to Don Quixote and the pharmacy and a few other places and got some stuff. This is Japanese makeup, okay? Listen, now, <laughs> I have shied away from doing this video. I've always thought about it, I was like, why don't you do videos on Japanese makeup? You see what I'm saying? So, some of this stuff is gonna work. A lot of this stuff I'm just trying out. When it comes to face products, we're gonna stick to the usual stuff. You see the color of this skin, okay? I revisited some of my old favorites like the Real Lasting Tattoo One Day Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. I used to love these and I low key, not low key, high key feel that those new brow pens that are out now, they came over here and jacked it from this because this was over here from the beginning of time. You see what I'm saying? Like I've been in Japan so long and this has been here from the beginning, way before a lot of these brow, you know, stroke things. Girl, if you follow me from the beginning, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Yes, yeah, so I got some brow stuff, I got some eyeshadow, I got some lip products, okay? Listen, so here's what we're gonna do. When it comes to Japanese stuff, it's gonna be eyes, cheeks, and lips, brows. That's it. We and we can use some um, some some fixing spray and some primer. We can try out stuff like that. But when it comes to face products, forget about it. You are not gonna find your foundation over here, especially if you're a chocolate sister. Forget about it. Okay. Make sure if you're coming over here, you have somebody to either send you stuff, or you know the shops that you want to shop at. Okay. And hair products. We're not even gonna talk about it, okay? Like I said, things have changed. Amazon, Amazon ships worldwide. That helps me out a lot. You can, listen to me, the day that I found out that Amazon ships to Japan, America Amazon, because it's two different things, <laughs> my life just became a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like I could get products that I was used to, you know? I picked up two eyeshadows, I picked up some lip products, and I picked up an A blush because, because that was the only blush that I could find that I was like, maybe this can work, and we're gonna see. So let's just go through and do the do, okay? So first we're gonna do the brows, and today I'm gonna be using the Real Lasting. I'm gonna go back to this. My brows might come off a little bit strong, but hey, this is what we're gonna be using. So I have Super Black. No, sorry, I have deep brown and this is the eyeliner, so this is gonna be for my eyes. So first things first, I need to go ahead and open up these products. Okay, so I'm really excited. Okay, listen, look how cute these are. Like, this is how they sell stuff over here now. Recently, I do see that they are Americanizing themselves, like they're coming out with the, the big palettes and stuff like that. But for the most part, like the true Japanese type of brands, like you're gonna find stuff like this and everything is shimmer. Everything has shimmer in it. They hardly play with matte eyeshadows, so S-O-C-K-S, okay? Girl, let's do the two. Okay, let go, we're gonna do the brows. Okay, so for my brows, I'm also gonna be using this brow pencil along with the actual brow pen, basically. So um, this one, I found this one at the dollar store, and it is literally the deepest shade that I could find over here, so I had to get this instead of, you know, other stuff. Anyways. Listen, I wanna share something with you guys. So you guys know that I love to push up my brows, so I decided to go ahead and get a bunch of these disposable spoolies. But how cute are these? Like, these are way too cute to be just disposable. But girl, I am tired of washing out them toothbrushes. You know the gold toothbrushes that I have? I'm tired of washing them out. Like, you know, that's a lot of work. Like, listen, <laughs> work smarter, not harder. This is Bay. okay? I absolutely love 
pushing out my brows with this because I mean with water it comes out and it dries clear you know what I'm saying so I really just dig the brush in there get it really nice and saturated with, with the, the, the thingamajig and I literally just roll it through my brows and it does the job so perfectly like you have no idea okay look at that huh? instant brow lift isn't that pretty just like that and when you're done throw it away moving on and not stressing myself and for those of you I know you guys are gonna ask hold on I got them on Amazon and they come in a pack of 300 so you get 300 in one pack and I ordered three so <laughs> I am set until thy kingdom come okay <laughs> Okay, so I have a little bit of glue on my skin around the perimeters basically from pushing, not a whole lot. So what I like to do is just take my sea breeze and just wipe up around the very edge. And that basically just takes care of all of that. And then I flip it over to the dry side and just dry up that liquid. So nothing is sitting there and nothing runs down into the brow and actually loosen up the glue. Make sense? Nice and clean and good to go. <laughs> don't tell me y'all don't know. Okay, I'll be trying to give y'all the hookup. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go in. You know, y'all know, okay. Listen, I need to shave my brows, so if you see a little shadow and stuff, that's all right, it's all right. Sometimes, girl, I just don't wanna do it right now, okay. Now, this was the darkest that I could find, and you can tell, like, it is super duper sheer like it's not coming off as super opaque it's like a little shadow and i find that a lot of their brow pencils are like that and for me personally i'm not really a fan of that you get what i'm saying like it's just way too sheer you know for my brow pen i'm going to be using the real lasting eyeliner in what is it called it's called deep brown and we're just gonna go in and create some little hairs as usual okay now there was a time when I when I first discovered this product, like this was all I used on my brows, but I would literally color in my brows with this. What was I thinking back then? But anyways, we all go through it. Okay. Whoopty whoop, shibbity boop, boop, boop. Okay, so for my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna go in with Dark 40 by ColourPop, and I'm gonna clean up under my brows. Like I said, face products, <laughs> We have to stick with what is made for us, okay? We are not even going to dabble in their stuff. Now, they have some really cute stuff. And surprisingly, like, they really do love, like, creamy foundation, like the cushion foundation, CC, BB cream, like, that type of stuff. They still love that over here. Like, their skin is just really nice and dewy and gla that glass skin type of thing. Like, they love, 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 love that, honey, okay? Okay, so for the eyeshadow, I have two of them here, and I decided to go with these two because they were more on the brown side. So the way they do color over here is not super pigmented. It's very sheer. They have purples, they have blues, they have the greens, but it's very light. It's just a light wash of color. It's not like pow in your face. It's made to be worn every day, daytime. You see what I'm saying? Daytime glam. So that's how they do things over here. Like their formula is not as pigmented as ours. So the brand is called Vise and I have two of them and hopefully I can Google them and find a proper picture of them now on the back of these they have a B C and they actually have like a little format of how you're supposed to put this on so I'm gonna just get rid of that but this is the first one has a little bit of green okay so I feel like I'm gonna play with this one I'm, I'm just gonna mix the two of them and this is the other one and this one is like a three tone type of thing it has a B C the other one has a B, C, D, and it gives them a map of how they should be applying it and most of the eyeshadows over here are actually applied like that so what they do is they take the darkest shade and they put it at the very base of the eye like a like a liner basically and then they just it's like a gradient from dark to light okay okay you get the picture but that's how they normally do it over here because the Japanese have extreme hooded eyes if you can even call it that okay so um yeah I don't know the direction that I'm going in I really don't because <laughs> it's mostly shimmer like it's all shimmer there's no matte in here and I don't want to mix anything like I just want to give this by itself a go I'm gonna take the darkest shade right here and I'm actually gonna put that on my outer V just kind of get that going in there even though it's shimmery we're still gonna do it okay 
Okay, that's not bad, but you can see like the little hint of green, like it's a grayish green, brown green type of thing. But as you can tell, like the color is not super strong, even though I'm layering and, you know, trying to get it going in there. Like you can tell it's made to be worn like in the daytime, really soft, like all of this stuff is formulated like this. I'm also gonna take that same color and just go ahead and do my lower lash line. Okay, so next up, I'm actually gonna go with the green over there on the on the bottom beside it so I'm gonna take that and start to kind of just give myself a nice wash of color all over the lid and next I am let's mix it up so I'm gonna go with the other palette so we can use up as much as possible I'm gonna go into this goldish shade right here and this is even more sparkly and I'm just going to kind of just brush it in at the very top right here this can actually be put all over the thing because it's just like, it's just glitter. Like it's actually like pressed glitter and it's like really sheer. So let's do that. I'm just gonna give myself a nice wash all over the eye. It's all glittery, so let's just go all the way out, girl. Let's, okay. whoop de whoop shitty boop 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 I don't have a brow bone color. The brow bone color that they have in here is like, white as what, at least what I would use for a brow bone color. This is way too dark, so I'm not gonna, play myself okay I'm just gonna move on all right so let me go ahead and find some lashes do the other eye and let's zoom out so we can show out wasn't that easy super easy like <laughs> they take the guessing out of it because if you buy something like this this is what you're supposed to use to create a look you know kind of like Dior you know like Dior has like five eyeshadow four eyeshadows you see what I'm saying like that's how they do stuff over here. Like the guessing game is out. You know this is what you're gonna use to create one eye look. You see what I'm saying? It's not like a huge big palette where you have to think about, okay, do I want that shade, this shade? They take the guessing out of it. So it's very, very simple. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I like that, you know? Ching chong, wala wala chong chong ding. Okay, so for the face, um, we're gonna keep it mm, with the usual stuff, okay? Like I said, you are not going to find your shade over here, but you will find very, very interesting stuff like essence in primer. <laughs> um, basically, this means that there is essence in this primer and the Japanese are big on essence. This particular product is made in Korea, so I mean, let's do the do child. First, I'm gonna shake it up because I don't know what I'm gonna get. Oh, it's liquidy. You hear that? Super liquidy. Okay. Cute little packaging and everything. Oh, very liquidy. That's what they mean by essence primer. So let's see what it does for us. Okay, it's drying down very, very sticky. It actually feels really good. The skin feels, the skin, ooh, even feels good on the hands. All right. This is by Touch and Soul. Definitely a Korean brand, you know, Soul, Korea. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we have that. Listen, we cannot skip this, okay? Y'all, listen, this is not a Japanese product. It is so CKS, baby. I can't wait for the new ones to get here. Like, you have no idea. And I'm so happy that Mac decided to create, like, new ones. Listen, if you're not, if you don't know about it yet, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. They literally have, like, color correcting colors, but some of them are shimmery. So I can't remember, like, what is shimmery. But luckily for us brown girls, like, they have an orange. They have a really nice skin tone type of brown and a red. So, you know, those colors are really great for us to cancel out the grayness around our mouth so I need to color correct but I never do because I just use this because I, I want to prevent the creasing okay for my concealer today I'm gonna go in with ColourPop really been loving these like you know revisiting this and welcome home okay these are really really nice so first I'm gonna go in with 40 dark 40 okay and we're going to yay yay and then I'm gonna go in with 36, which is a little bit lighter. We're just going to plop that right there and on the very tip of my nose. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna go in with 50. And with 50, I'm just gonna put that on the side of my nose. And for my foundation, really been loving this by Huda. This is Chocolate Mousse and this is the Luminous Matte, okay? The new one that she came out with, girl. <laughs> I love it. Like, I just really love Huda Beauty. You don't understand me, man. 
but you don't understand me. It's up my alley. It's matte. It's full coverage. It's beautiful. You know, it do everything that I wanted to do. Now let me go ahead and concentrate because I don't want to get it in my hair. Okay, I don't want to do that. No. Okay. So I need to take time around those areas. Okay. Does it still feel tacky? Yeah, that primer. Uh huh. Take your time and rewind your love, baby. Look at my neck, just giving me the business, girl. Mm. Anyway, boo. Okay, so for my contour, I'm gonna go in with cocoa bean. Like, you're not even gonna find contour over here. Like, these people don't really contour. They kind of keep their face one color. They'll just put on, like, blush. They don't do all of the stuff that we do, okay? Tr trust and believe. It's not, it ain't happening. Mm -mm. Okay, so I didn't even see any contour products, any bronzing products. There was nothing like that. It's just eyeshadow, lips, and blush. Like, that's it. They're not defining like we are, you know? Their faces are, are a lot more round and flat, basically. You know, they do what works for them, and that's a beautiful thing, you know? Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer, and we're gonna work the edges first, just to diffuse that into the foundation. And then we're just gonna go ahead and just tap in that one spot, and it's gonna give me a really nice, bright eye. Okay, it's time to set and forget. So I'm gonna go in with Kunafa and Cinnamon Bun, both by Huda, and I'm gonna set under my eyes and the perimeters on my face. So let's just go ahead and breathe right through this. Okay, no dilly, no dally. Okay, we are here for the rally. Right. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I was sitting here and I was thinking about what I just said, that you're not gonna really find any bronzing products over here so i'm gonna try that today like i'm not gonna put on any bronzer i'm just going to move on to highlighter and blush and i'm definitely gonna contour my nose <laughs> okay we we, we 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 ain't gonna skip on that and i'm still gonna use the same powder which is cinnamon bun by huda okay maybe if we don't bronzify he will look at us i don't know maybe we gotta try something okay so this is how I feel now I never Okay, so for my glow, my highlight on my nose, I am going to be using this little Frio right here. I'm gonna take this shade over here, and it's actually kind of glittery, but I think I can still get some shine out of it. And dust away the glitter. All right now. Okay, for the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna take this light shade from the quad palette. You see, it's so soft, like it's not as intense as, you know, what I'm used to using. It's just subtle. 
Okay, for my blush, this is also by Vise. How cute. Cute little blush, okay. This is the only one that I saw that I was like deep enough to say maybe I can do something with this. Now it's on that shimmer side. I couldn't find anything matte. You can actually see a little bit of the sheen. And don't worry, I cleaned out my brush because I didn't want any of the other blushes that I normally use to get in there. I kind of feel like something is missing because I don't have contour, but hey. Okay, so one of the things I could not find over here was lip liner. So it's either lipstick or colored gloss. So today I'm actually gonna do colored gloss and we're gonna skip the liner. Like we're just gonna stay true to what they do apart from the face because like I said, I was not gonna find any, you know what I'm saying? So this is their juicy syrup basically. And I have this lipstick and this lipstick is by Facio. Fussy, it's Mr. Boy, a fussy. <laughs> okay, and it's kind of like a little rouge type of color, but it's not pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with this and then go in with the gloss on top. I'm just gonna do like in the center, like how they normally do, a little something like that. And then I'm gonna go in with Juicy Syrup, and this is, it just says BR300, girl. Okay, and this is a true gloss. Like there's no color in this. Like what are they talking about? <laughs> Girl, little tint, that's all this is. Little Asian lip. <laughs> Girl, I don't really know. Okay, how do we look? And last but not least, let's go in. This is the, isn't this cute? This is so cute. Okay, it's called Perfect Fixer Make Hack. Uh, this one is made here in Japan and <laughs> ching chong walla walla ching chong ming. Girl. I don't know what it's saying. I don't know if it's dewy, matte, or whatever. Okay, but it smelled good a while ago when I sprayed it on the, the brush. Nice mist. Come on now. Okay. It almost looks a little dewy. Oh, this face is sitting. Come on now. Where my little fan at, girl? Here we go, we is not gonna mess this up today. Here we go, here we go. See it here now? Learned a little something from the jobs then today. All right now, come on now. Whoop de whoop. I'ma leave the door open, girl. I'ma leave the door open, open, so you feel the way I feel. I just love that song by And Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. You know Bruno is my baby. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do like how everything came out. You see what I'm saying? It just looks a little softer and really pretty. You know, you see what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna keep this going. I'm gonna find unique stuff to bring to you, like whatever I find around here that works because I'm not gonna waste my money on buying something that I can't put on my face. Like that does not make any sense. You get what I'm saying? And that's not a lot, okay? So make sure you check out New World Hair all world new hair new world hair this is the Illuminati <laughs> make sure you check them out all the information for them will be down in the description box this is a really beautiful wig but I'm not gonna lie to you like I, dark hair is my thing dark hair is my thing unless I need a stylist to come and do it for me but I feel like dark hair fits me the best like you know what I'm saying I'm really liking my face today come on now <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, join the tribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out, share the video because sharing is caring. Wait, before I go, there will be no modeling in this video. I feel like when I do a look look, like when I really come with the outfit, the hair, the nails, like, you see what I'm saying? I model all the time for you guys. And like I said, prior, like wait, like when was that, 2019? prior week <laughs> like those end shots take a lot to edit you know what I'm saying so um I just want to make things a little quicker and switch it up sometimes like you know this is the look I don't you know what I'm saying I don't need to be full of myself all the time <laughs> okay yeah girl so um until the next video take care of yourselves and I will see you guys really really soon child it's the caffeine <laughs> this is how I feel now I never had this all